Well, I think it's going to take it upon myself to get the Camaro out for the kid. I think the Chevy Camaro and the Corvette will be a fun day for us. That's what I think. It's so nice out. I really think that uh, the car Corvette will be fun with the convertible down. And I don't have many convertible cars. So it'll be a nice change. So here we go. Here's my daughter calling me right now, in fact. Let's see what she has to say. Let's see if she has to say here about what she wants to do. So I'm getting the uh, Camaro out for you right Dad, now. just give me a few minutes. I'm just putting on my shoes. I know, I'm getting the Camaro out right now. I want to drive my Mustang. No, I want to do the Camaro and Corvette day. Okay, that's fine. I love that. Okay. There you go. what I tell you, huh? So here is the Camaro after I changed out the exhaust. If you're watching my channel, I took the mufflers out. So this thing has a little bit more of a note to it. So from Max Custom Garage. Pretty incredible how I, for the most part, have not even driven this car. I mean, it's just incredible. But if you watch my channel, you probably, yeah, man, you have so many freaking cars. Um, right, how are you gonna drive this thing? Because you have way too many cars. I mean, where's the gate opener to this thing? I don't see it. So we'll let her start warming up. Put the brake on. Hope she doesn't roll away. You know those stories. You know the thing is, you get older in life, crawling in and out of these cars is challenging. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is. That's one thing about me. Years ago, I sold my Corvette because I thought, man, I'm just getting too damn old to crawl in and out of this damn thing. So here's the Camaro out in the sun. We're probably going to see all this damn overspray in this car if you know that story. But listen to that thing. I mean, come on. That thing just sounds really good. I mean, I think that thing sounds really good. That healthy 427 small block. So many years ago, that was a big block. How'd they, how did they accomplish the big block to small block on that? Now, let's get in the Corvette that I barely have driven. And like I say, I want to do the... The real deal with putting the, uh, the top down as Kiefer will probably try to jump on it and whatever else. Oh my gosh. So I scratched my front windshield with my watch. I was trying to clean this down here. It just doesn't end. And my watch, literally as I was reaching down here to clean it, I scratched the windshield. It's just, you know, these older cars, one concern you have is on the, the battery. I mean, that's, that's a big concern, is because as you get older, you know, that's one thing about older cars is, as you know, I just had this car gone over by the Chevy dealer, but for me, my goal is to get the, uh, let's see here, get this thing in neutral, put the brake on, but I want to get the uh, the top off, so let's watch this here, oops, wrong way, so all the windows go down, See here? And you just keep on holding this button. See, top not secure. See all this is going on? See this? That's so cool. And that's so cool. Just keep on. See here, top not secure. And when it says, there it is. So it's, it's ready. So now I can go down the road with my top down as an old fart. Let's see how this thing looks. You know, one thing about that Camaro is we tried to put gas in it and I could not get the thing, the gas filler kept on turning off. And I don't know if it was because of the gas station or it was because of uh, that car's got a bad um, filler thing on it. So now here, how do we get the damn, I don't even know. I think it's over here. So I wanna have my cleaning, I'm gonna put my, some of my cleaning supplies in this. can't get over how that engine has such a lobe, such a lobe noise to it. Come on, pups, get you guys in. Come on, Will. Willow. And we are off to the races. It's official. We're going to take the, the bow ties. It's a bow tie day. Now, can mom get out? Julia, can mom leave the house today? We're well, going to have to arrange for that. Now, the wife is not going to be happy. If we leave this 
and she can't get out. My wife would be so freaking PO'd. Can you blame her? I love the memory seat. See here? It's adjusting automatically for me. So I can get in the truck. Yeah, having the memory seat is the nicest thing in the world. If you know what I mean. So, it's never ending. Too many cars, too many trucks. Challenging an Ice Age TV. When the kid, the kid actually gets mad at me because I get after her about parking all these cars in front of the house. I mean, I'm gonna lie. She's like, what's the big deal parking all the cars in front of the house? Well, obviously this morning it's a big deal, right? Because um, we're spending time now moving cars around because you won't park them over here, but whatever. Ain't easy being a dad. Parent, I mean, any stories of these teenagers? Yeah, they get all the answers, right? Yeah, right, sure. Yeah, so the, the property, you know, if I didn't have all this property, then uh, I would not be able to have all these cars. <laughs> There's no way. In some ways, that would be better. I'd be better off. You know why? We don't have all these cars. Just too many cars. I mean, when does it stop? I don't disagree. When do you just start selling stuff, man? I hear you loud and clear. It's tempting. It is tempting some days. And the adventure begins as we head to the car show. I missed a spot in my car. That's aggravating. So, come on car, open up. Does that just look like the Batmobile? Is that the idea? As I crawl now into my Corvette, uh, and I get situated, uh, woo. All right, close the barn doors, get the brake off, a lot of sunshine. And for me, I definitely need a heated seat. There's the kid. So there she is. So the show begins. It does it. I can't get the damn parking brake off. Fix that. So, oh my gosh. Driving this thing with a convertible down, it is so cool because now I can hear the exhaust on this car. And when the top is up, you don't really hear it as well, which is kind of disappointing because it's always about the exhaust note. So here's the kid. So I think that car, that is such a sweet car. I mean, I'd be interested or anybody on my channel say, if you can only keep a few cars, which ones would you keep? I mean, sincerely, I'm gonna put the windows up because that way I get a little bit more um, protection. So, what if I if I came to dire straits and I can only keep like a few cars in a truck? What would you keep? I mean, I think you know I'd have to borderline say the the Camaro and this Z06. I'm sure some people are like yeah the Super B, the Gold Rush, but there's so many of those out there. You know the thing about this Camaro Z28. How many 2014-15 Camaro Z28s are floating around? How many 2015 Z06s are floating around? Here's the snap, crackle, pop. So, oh, I gotta put the, uh, go to the rev matching. You gotta put this little, pull this little switch back. The little paddle switch shifters. I haven't done anything to this exhaust, and I don't think I will. I mean, part of me is like, for this car here in the Camaro, like even tin in the windows, I've got mixed feelings on that. Just because of the, uh, the uniqueness to the car. See, so you hear that? Just kind of got to get into this thing to really kind of get the exhaust note out. Kid. And it's cool, I'll tell you the one thing. A little chilly with this top down. See that? You hear that? There is the downshift rev matching. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. The old Chevy, it's, isn't it? it's so interesting on how each engine manufacturer has its unique tone. You know, it's like us humans, our, our voices. 
how each one of us is boing, born, boing, boing, born with a voice box, and, and and yet we all talk so different. And it depends where you grow up, if you have the accent, and uh, and so here we are. I have to stop. Oh boy, right? So it's so interesting. How each engine and each car has its own unique personality to the manufacturer's uh, engine. Because the Ford and the Dodge, you know, all those. You think she's having fun? You think she's having fun right now in that car? Woohoo! I think she is. And this sounds pretty mild in comparison to uh, the... Uh, yeah, this sounds very mild in comparison to all my other cars. In some ways. But now I'm getting this air in here. Which I can always put the top up. That's not a big deal. But it's just fun to have the uh, have the convertible down. And if it was like a 70 degree morning, it would definitely be even more fun. It's right, right now it's 53 degrees. This car is just so smooth. I've been driving around so many different vehicles here in the last few weeks. And I really haven't driven this car much at all. But this car is so smooth. I mean, it's just beyond belief. This car was built close to 10 years ago. I think it was built in September, if I remember right. I always like to look at the birth dates of these cars. And it's just always intriguing to see the birthday. And I think this is a September car. Or maybe it's the Camaro. I just can't remember. So the Camaro, you know, in so many ways... These are 2015 production model year cars. That's just the irony to all this. I never would have figured I'd have two 2015 used Chevy sit in my garage two months ago, three months ago, a year ago. I never would have visualized that. So it's just incredible on how these are coming up on to be 10 year model year cars. This most manufacturers start releasing the 2025. A lot of manufacturers will start releasing 2025 cars this summer and fall. And in so many ways, this car can become mundane because it's so quiet. And it doesn't really have that just that all out, you know, wah, 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 you know. That's what it kind of, at this moment, was an electric vehicle because it's just so quiet. It'd be interesting to see people with cars to go, hey man, that front splitter in that car is damaged. Yeah, I know. Weren't you here? It's hard to believe already. It's been close to a month ago when I got this car. For the Camaro, that car I got 45 days ago because the first payment just went out the door. Yeah. Am I feeling that? Sure am. This payment, I think this thing will be 30 days. I think like another week or so, I think. In many ways, I'm glad we're driving the Chevy bow tie today because one thing about these cars is they get older, you really should try these cars. I mean, cars sitting around not being driven much over a 10-year period, it's not really good for the car. I'm sure many people understand that. That's why I changed all the fluids in this car because I just felt like this guy here just pulled in front of my daughter. I mean, people around here, you witness it all the time. People are just like, I ain't waiting. And there's nobody behind us. So there's nobody behind me in this car. So if that guy just would have given another few seconds, yeah, but uh, whatever. Yeah, if you're watching my channel, you know how now I've got more of an attitude about somebody pulling out in front of me. It's because it happened to me on my motorcycle, which could have been a life ending crash. Or paralyzed, you know, severe, severe, you know, body harm. I mean, it's huge. And there he is. The uh, exhaust note. This thing just launches. When you, you, you hit the gas pedal, it's like a little bit of a lag, and then it catches. Yeah, it's so, it's because that supercharger. And, it's, and you got to be careful on that because you literally don't realize how much you just gave 
power to this car. And then, then a lurch is on you. It's like a lurch type of uh, feeling that I've never really have experienced in other cars. So it's, it's like that, just that split second delay, this car inhaling all of that extra air for the supercharger that then just blasts off. The way this car is geared, you know, I'm in third gear and it's like nothing. My my 2008 Z06, I could downshift in the first gear if I was doing like 70 miles an hour. Yes, well, I should say more like 50 miles an hour because you could run it up to 60 miles an hour in first gear. See, there's it's all about that exhaust note. Talk about it all the time. Coming up close to the car show now. Boy, this thing just had a really good burp. A real good downshift. We're in a, a lot of traffic now. So. It's a slow poke day. It's Sunday. And we're kind of getting there a little later than we usually get. Which, eh, it is what it is. We got the pool guy. The pool guy that's out. Yeah, it's the pool water time. All right, coming up around the bend. So here is the car meet, Sunday morning car meet, at the Flores Decor, right off the Route 715 bypass. And it should be a good showing today because of uh, Hey, the pool guy's gonna go where we're going. <laughs> The pool guy is going to the car show. What is that all about? Did he watch my channel? Does he want to show off his fancy truck? I mean, sincerely, what is the pool guy doing here besides getting fuel? Other than that, I think this guy's totally lost. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? I mean, sincerely, where is this guy going? Oh, he's probably going to get something to eat. <laughs> yeah, we got a good show here. All right, now, you know, you, you think about it, how many Camaro Z28s are in the collection? Oh, we got the, got the Corvette guys here for sure, don't we? We got the Mopar guys. Got my buddy Steve here taking pictures. Does he want me to run him over today? Ooh, look at that there. Good old GTX. Oh, we got a lowered Ford truck. The kid's looking for guidance. So let me see what I can do here. I don't know. I don't know if we can get down there or not. Are there any spots down there, kid? Let's see. Whoa. Is that a plaid? That's probably a plaid. So, I don't know why the kid's waving all these people on. This guy's like a Ferrari. Oh, so we'll move it right here. Got the slam truck. All right, so I met a gentleman here. It's a Mustang guy. He's got a black one over there. Now, did you do much to that California special offhand? Have you done much to it? Nothing yet. So it's just, what year is it? 22. Okay, and how many miles are on it? 3,000. Let's go over and look at it. So yeah, this is a gentleman right. that came up to me because he saw me pulling my nice Stingray 
Corvette Z06 con convertible, and he's a Mustang guy. He's a Mopar guy, and he's got a California uh, special edition Mustang, which it is a nice package, it and is. it's a great package for the money. And, and I've always thought of getting, getting one just because it's such a cool-looking car of the aesthetics that they do with it. Right, I agree. And the new 24s are even really cool as well, if you've that, seen I, them. The thing with this one was... Look at that. That's I, I really nice. Out, I need to clean... See, so I got it open because I want... My buddy's got a really nice Mustang down here. Yeah, yeah. I want to do, do the engine bay first. Trim. You're going to do trim. You're talking about you want to do aesthetics, too. Yeah, aesthetics, trim. Really? Yeah. Eventually, when the warranty wears out, I'll do something. So you put a supercharger on it? It says I'm putting a Whipple supercharger on my dark horse. So it's got the Alcantara seats. Yeah, right. That's nice. It's got the like little carbon fiber thing there. Yeah, nice. You know, and then the badging. Yeah. California special badgings there, and then you know the nice. Yeah, it, it, it comes out nice, and it's got the little right. full hood scoop. Yeah, right. And then it gives the you sow, the cow. performance pack. Yeah. Wing. Mm -hmm. So the thing with this one, this is a 22 that I bought new last year. So the 23s were already out, and then the brand new. You know, the next gen yeah. Mustangs are coming out, so they they dropped like five thousand off the MSRP for this. Wow, where'd you buy it? Uh, I bought it in uh, uh, Alexandria. Uh, Orsman. Yeah. Orsman. Yeah. Yeah, down in Alexandria. My good friend now manages that. So this is my friend's. Uh, yeah, you six, know, six Steve. Nine. Yeah, Steve. You yeah, know. no, we, I Steve. So we, but we were talking about this last week, yeah. and he was so funny because it drives like a tank. Yeah. <laughs> so as far as the looks like a really cool car, right, right, but it doesn't right. drive like a really cool car. He'll just tell you that straight up. He's, I so, think he's changed the rubber and he said it drives better. Okay, that'd be great. Yeah. Uh, and when he comes is back his, round. This is his brother's car, right? Oh, it is. Yeah. This is I don't know about car. that. This is the kind of thing that I want to. Yeah. Do. Right. It's the underhood of mine, you know. And he's got the he's got the bags on it. You can see. Oh, okay. See this is so cool. Here. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah so oh man, really he's cool. done. He has done some really cool stuff to his yeah, car. So, nice wonder if he's done anything to the engine uh, as far as performance. He's done some, I think it's more like uh, exhaust, and then you know he put the uh, air intake, air intake, and the tune on it. Probably the I think tune. He's chipped it. Or tuned it. Yeah. Right. So, I say chip because so, that's cool. <laughs> you're so you're a military guy, so you yes. kind of want to do the ver veteran thing too. Is that kind of your thinking uh, as well? I'm, I'm thinking going with the California special thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm so mil I'm so ingrained with the military that yeah. you know it's pretty easy. To oh, you were there how many years? Thirty thirty years. Wow. Yeah, thirty years. Were you actually on the ship or were you on mostly the, ship? Yeah. Were you always actually always. on the sea a lot? Or you always? Yeah. Twenty two oh. years. Season. And that's hard to have a marriage with that type of life. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah. So this is beautiful. Really yeah. nice. It really is. Now. Now, are you going to tint the windows? Or you want to keep it clean. Tint the tint the windows. Yeah. Probably lower it a little bit. Go to LA Tint Manassas. Yeah, yeah, I heard they're the. They're so the I ones. have a lot of videos of, of them. Yeah. They know me personally. Oh great. Maybe tell them the uh, the ice guy, ice okay. ice ATV guy, and yeah. they do. So I have a video from yesterday of me doing my Ford Lightning truck. Oh, yeah. I got electric trucks. I just got rid of my electric Mach E. Oh. So oh, I had yeah. a Ford Mustang Mach E. What do you think of it? It's a great car. It's fun. It's really like drives like a Porsche. Yeah, but it's with the range. It's the range thing. So yeah, it, right. it's it's a two hundred mile car. My my brother's got one. He's got the GT. Yeah, I had the GT yeah. premium package. Yeah, he's got so one. it was fun. Really, it's a great car, but it's just it was a range. So I traded it out for a a Ford Lightning extended range truck, which goes right. more like two hundred and seventy miles. So I want to get rid of this. I'm not a big yeah. fan of this thing. Okay. You know, just put the engine covers on the side. Yeah. Maybe go with the red, like red. Accent, you know, because it goes yeah. with the GT. Uh huh. Yes, you know. Okay. Oh, Would you ever put a little bigger tire package on? Yes, absolutely. You know. Would you ever do anything in suspension? Yes. So I know okay. it doesn't have the Magnaride on it. Um, there's a couple of ones that are similar to a Magnaride where yeah. they kind of have a variable, variable valves in them and stuff. It yeah, yeah. It down a little bit. Okay. Probably not going to go crazy with that. But right. Yeah. Yeah. But it's your love and your joy. This is your outlet. This is your. Is. This is you get in the car and yeah. you go for a drive and you can kind of separate yourself, right? Yeah, this is so, a really cool show because I see a lot of the cars. The old Dodge Dart. I wish yeah, I could have talked to that guy. Dark. Yeah, I wish I could have talked to that guy. That would have been a good, a good video. We kind of got here a little late today. We yeah. did the Volkswagen Square back last week. Dulles? No, I don't want to get up at six and five thirty in the morning. Yeah, a lot of cars. <laughs> I, I know. I just. Yeah, I mean, if I. Probably should. See, that's a 
Now year. this year, right? I can remember. I can remember being in, out of high school when a guy had one of these. Yeah, you and I were in high school. So and uh, and I can remember just wow, you know, the, yeah. the, 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 if you had one of these, uh, just the it was one right there. Right, so it should be the this should be the four twenty six, four forty. Oh, it's a four forty six barrel. Back in the day, this these yours? were rare. Yeah. Okay. Even back in the day, these were rare. The fonts. Yeah. Too many of them. You know? Of course. Just... Well, now I wonder whose this is. Part of me says. I think I know whose it is, and if I know whose it is, he won't talk about it. There's a guy here that has some really incredible Mopars. He's, yeah. a, he's a guy about our age, yeah. and he, he has his own shop down in Arlington, and he's got beautiful cars. Wow. But when I come up to him to do my channel, he won't talk to me. It's just like, <laughs> like what is that all about? I mean, <laughs> whatever. Well, he don't care. He's got money. It ain't about that. So I'd be willing to venture that this is his car. It's just too clean. And the theme of it goes with what he probably do. Yeah, I'd love to meet that guy. Well, what's going to say is, is I think I'd love to meet who that guy is there. So as we walk around, and then the you check out the you know the guy with the resto mod down there. The which one? Then there was a fox body that had. So this was my first Corvette, a C5 Z06. But I had the, th I thought it was like 395. Like oh, so this, this is the 405. I had like the 390, I think. They bumped it like the next yeah. year. Yeah, so this is one of the cars listed in all the, you know, the websites. It's bang for the buck. Yeah, all right. Because, you know, the price is right. Yep. It's just a phenomenal it, sports car. Well, if Corvette finally got their act together. I never would buy a Corvette back in the day because right. they were a bucket of bolts. And I really think the C5 and then onward, yeah. I think they finally kind of put them together a little better. Because yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, the they're known for that. I think it's one of the prettiest. Yeah. I, I like the looks of yours. I mean, the new ones are really, really cool. The C8's right. But they're, uh, I like the looks of yours. Yeah, and so I have, I have a video of me even driving a C8 and I walked away and didn't buy it. A lot of people hated me. Yeah, 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 I talked to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we talked. I did a whole video on him last week. Well, I, no, I was down in Tennessee last week, so I did a I did a whole video on him a few weeks ago. So I'm in and out of town a lot. So I'm going to And there's a Subaru BRZ. And oh, we got another Camaro guy down here. We've got a Super Sport down here. Yeah, we're talking about He's got some stuff in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Yeah, well, my good friend had his stolen. Yeah, I mean, sadly, these Camaros are being sought after being stolen. It's happening. Yes, because they don't make them anymore. Yeah, and so, yeah, C8s, these are beautiful cars. They're incredibly handling cars. And uh, I'm sure at some point I'll probably end up having one, but for the moment... Well, see, that's what I did. I did it. I did it. I did a whole video of me going down to Coons Showing Ford to buy a freshly used C8 Corvette, and I walked away. I just couldn't get. I had the GT500, so my GT500 was so much fun. I just didn't have that same type of experience. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, right. No. Just like the yeah. Looks. Well. Well. You, and you just asked a good question. I feel like Chevy cheated on us because they went mid-engine. Mid I grew up with a front-engine Corvette. That's all I ever loved. Right, right. So I went mid-engine. It's the Italian, it's the yeah. Italian European flair. Yeah, but right. it's a badass car. I mean, for sure. me, I'm not here to tell anybody to watch my channel that this car isn't a badass car. So it's a badass car. Really has, has one of these. This is like a 1982 yeah, or 84. A, it was an 84. Okay. And, and I drove it, and it's all right. You know, it's, oh, but these are the first time it was it was good. Well, they, like, right, and they had like this, and they had the ZR1 package, yeah, right, right. which that my neighbor used to have. My neighbor was a dentist; he had a red one. That was a hot thing back then. Yeah, ZR1, LT5. You can yeah. find these. I'm sorry. This is a great example. Oh you can yeah. Find these. It's like the best value and performance. Right, yeah. right, right. 500 horsepower. Yeah, that was killer back in 19. Uh, did they yeah. release it what, in 82 or 84? Do you remember? 84, because this is a... Is that what it is? Is it yours? No. Okay. It's, yeah. It's a C4, so yeah, it's 84. Okay. Or 85. It would yeah. be, it'd be king of the mountain in 84, because in 84, yeah. you know... You leave it to GM. 
hey, great, we have a four, you know, yeah. 32 valve, four cam V8, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, no, I, yeah, I agree. But this was still a C4 generation. I felt it was a bucket of bolts. I just felt like, yeah. well, I didn't buy a Corvette until a C5 did. Yeah. I just always felt the C4s weren't, you know, they just, eh. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you get it. This is a badass car, but at the same time, the regular ones are like, yeah, they're cool, but so whose is this? That's probably his. I mean, this is perfectly. So there's a, that's his. So it's his. So this is the original motor. Nothing's been changed. I know you have to ask him. Is this your Corvette? Yes, it is. Is this the original motor? Yes. Nothing's been modded on it. Oh, it's modded. But I mean, the, 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 the appearance of this motor. It looks absolutely sick. Well, what's happened? I got a YouTube channel. If you don't like to be on it, then I won't show you, but it's a good channel. It's a. The original casting was rough. When they made the motor to, to the 510 horsepower spec, they sanded that and then painted it. So it looks a lot fresher than a LT5 motor because they were the casting was kind of rough. This is kind of smoothed out. So is this car per se all original? Per se? Yes. The wheels? No. Yeah, they're definitely okay. not original. It's, they're, they're they're just, just, it's got coilovers on it, bigger brakes, and a mod, mod motor. It's also got 410 gears and uh, exhaust and headers. So when you, got, when you got this car, what year did you get this car? I bought, I've had this car for about 10, 15 years now, and I, uh, I used to race a 90 Corvette, so I was very familiar with them, except the motor, I wasn't familiar with the LT. Yeah. So you built this to race this? No, this is just, this just is my toy. Your toy. All right. So you're never worried about losing value to what you did do it? Because this would not have the value that an original would have, or would it? No questionable. Uh, it all depends on the buyer, because it's a lot faster than the originals, and yeah. it handles a lot better than the original. What do you think this is worth in today's market? Would it be just a guess? 50 grand, 100 grand, 200 grand? No. Today's market, pretty weak on them, I'd say. Uh, it's only got 18,000 miles, so I'd say it's 40, 45. Wow. But it's a hell of a car without my money. You got a lot more than that in it, I can tell you. Oh, I know that. But, but the irony is, for what you have for that amount of money versus having to go to a C8, Right. Which this would probably beat a, C, a regular no, C8. I don't think it'll beat a C8. Really? Yeah. It's, Not the Z06. Yeah. But it's, it's quick. I, I've run a few guys here. They know it's pretty quick. Yeah. Right. Well, I like the. Uh, this is original. The, the sun yes. top and all. Correct. Right. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time. Okay. Ice Age TV is my YouTube channel, and I got a Camaro Z28 sitting up there, 2015. The yeah, it's mine. I love that car, man. I got and a 1LE. Okay, and I got the uh, Corvette, the red Corvette Z06 convertible next nice. behind it. Let's go check it out. So, and I got my Ice Age TV sticker on that window. I'll go check it out. Now. And you'll be on my video today. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, all right. So, I lose, did I lose Jim? Yep, Jim's on the Mustang. He's on the Mustang. People are rolling out of here fast. 